In order to educate yourself about digital transformation and other types of change initiatives, there are a number of books out there that can help you learn the frameworks and the concepts you need to know to be successful. But what are those best books that you should be reading to prepare for a transformation? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling and I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world with their digital transformation journeys. Starting at a young age, I've loved reading books and I always try to immerse myself in as much reading as possible. And being in the digital transformation space is no different. Learning new technologies, learning about change management, digital strategy, process improvement, business models in general, all those things are important to successful digital transformations. So what I wanna to do today is talk about the 10 books that were most influential in helping me understand the concepts needed to be successful in digital transformation. And I'm gonna go through these books in no particular order, but these are the ones that are most important over the last several decades that I've been reading books about transformation. And one caveat to this list of books is that these aren't necessarily books that are about digital transformation in particular. These are books that look outside the realm of technology and look at change and businesses in general. But these are the ones that I think are sort of the cross-functional methodologies and frameworks that are really important to understand to be successful in digital transformation. The first book on my list is The Goal by Elihu Goldratt. And this is a book I actually read in the mid 90s when I was getting my master's degree in business. And I really like this book even to this day. I think it's very relevant in terms of understanding operations, supply chain, business processes in general. And this is the book that introduced the concept of theory of constraints to business. And it's also a great book to understand how an entire supply chain works, looking at the big picture of an entire operations, an entire business, and really maximizing the operations and maximizing the value that you get out of those operations. It's also a book that focuses on continuous improvement and how you can continuously improve your business processes and your operations, and it provides some good frameworks for doing so. And the other reason why I like this book is because it's written as a fable. So it's not an academic book, it's not theoretical, it's actually telling a story a fictional story from a manager's perspective who's trying to lead change within an organization. So that's why the goal is on my list. Next on the list is Scaling Up Excellence by Robert Sutton. And this is a more recent book of the 10 that are on my list. And the reason I like this book is because it's about scaling an organization, but it's not focused solely on operations and technology and the sorts of things you typically think about when you think about scaling an organization. It actually focuses more on creating a culture of innovation and a culture of scale and a culture that will allow you to scale. And so, for example, it talks a lot about how you can spread excellence and spread some of the best practices within your organization throughout the entire organization. So this is a great book for a larger organization that might have pockets of great ideas and pockets of best practices throughout the organization but hasn't yet figured out how they can leverage those best practices across their entire operations. So those are some of the reasons why scaling up excellence is on my list. Next on the list is E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. And this is a great book that I actually read about 10 years ago, but I think the book was written probably 20 or more years ago. And it's a great book that's written from the perspective of a small business that's trying to scale for growth and some of the bottlenecks and some of the scalability issues that smaller growing organizations face. But what I found is these concepts in this book are extremely relevant to any sort of organization that's experiencing growth. So even if you're a mid-size or even a larger organization going through growth, or if you're a mature organization that's struggling to figure out how to continue growth and to return to that era of growth, this book, e Revisit, is a great way to lay out some of the fundamental concepts of how you need to be thinking about growth in general. The other reason I like this book, especially as it relates to digital transformation, is because they talk about some of the core concepts that are so essential to digital transformation, but they're not talking about it in the context of digital transformation. So in other words, they're talking about things like operational repeatability and having predictable and documented business processes. Those are just basic fundamental aspects of business that a lot of organizations overlook, especially when they're going through a digital transformation. They tend to focus more on the technology rather than the operations. So for that reason, I love this book as a good foundational understanding for what it takes to be successful with digital transformation. Next on my list is Good to Great by Jim Collins. 
And I love this book because it talks about the difference between great companies and mediocre and even unsuccessful companies. And what I particularly love about this book is that it's very academically based and it's quantitatively based in terms of research that this team did over the course of several years looking at top performing organizations and more mediocre and lesser performing organizations. And what they did is they looked quantitatively and qualitatively at what makes the successful company successful and the unsuccessful ones unsuccessful. And they really bring out a bunch of good concepts in terms of what it takes to build a great company and to create sustained long-term business value in an organization. And this book may sound like it has nothing to do with digital transformation, but it has everything to do with digital transformation because not all organizations and most organizations don't think about these things, but they should be as they're going through their transformations. So most of the concepts in this book are things that you should understand as you're thinking about how can we create a vision for our digital transformation and how can we execute on that vision in a way that allows us to be a higher performing organization. Sounds simple enough, but so many organizations forget that nuance or that purpose for their digital transformation. And that's why this book is so relevant to digital transformations today. Next on the list is In Search of Excellence by Tom Peters. And this is a classic business book that was written in the 80s. So it's roughly 40 years old. And it's actually the first business book that I really fell in love with that I thought was super critical and super fundamental to understanding business in general. And it's a book that I read in undergrad while I was studying business. And it's a great book, especially if you're starting out in business, maybe if you're earlier in your career, it's a great way to talk about what makes great organizations successful. It's much like the last book on our list, Jim Collins' is Good to Great, but obviously this was written earlier and it gets at even more fundamental core concepts of what makes good organizations and high performing organizations different from other types of organizations in the world. So again, sounds like nothing to do with digital transformation, but if we're viewing transformation as something that should improve our business and make us better, make us a higher performing organization than we are today, In Search of Excellence can be a great resource for understanding that concept. So I've talked about five books so far that I think are extremely relevant to digital transformation, but there's five more I wanna cover at a high level. The first one on this last five of sort of the lightning round review is Innovator's Dilemma by Clayton Christensen. And I love this book, especially if you're in the high tech industry in a product intensive organization or a company that's really focused on innovation. Innovator's Dilemma is a really good book to understand what it takes to be successful with innovation. But more importantly, it talks about why speed and being first to market isn't necessarily the most important thing when it comes to being a more innovative organization. Instead, the book focuses on what makes the most successful and most innovative companies successful and different than the organizations that might have been faster to market, might have had a really good idea that preceded the other more successful companies, but focuses on why those initial early pioneers of a certain vertical didn't succeed, but others did. For example, the book talks a lot about technology and how sometimes the bleeding edge technology, the first to market, is actually the first to fail. And what happens is sometimes those early pioneers of certain types of innovations, they overshoot what the needs are for the customers. So they get too far ahead of where customers' heads or needs are right now. But the more successful organizations hit it more on the bullseye in terms of what the customers need, when they need it, and they get that innovation right. So it's more about getting the right kind of innovation, not necessarily more innovation. Another great book to think about is Blue Ocean Strategy by W. Chan Kim. And this is a more recent book in our top 10 list. And this is probably the most high level strategy type of book in our list here. And the reason I really like this book is because it forces you to really think about what types of markets you want to be competing in as a business. So a lot of times businesses get fixated on competing in what the author would call the red ocean, which is the bloody red competitive ocean that's well dominated by a bunch of players. It's highly competitive. And what the book focuses on is helping organizations understand how they can move out of the red ocean into the blue ocean. And the blue ocean strategy is basically creating a niche for yourself or opening up into a new market that doesn't have any competition. So it's less bloody, it's less red and more of a blue ocean. So that's a reason why blue ocean strategy is such a great book to understand, especially if you're thinking about your business model and how you can improve that in the future. Another great book is Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. And I love this book because every great sociological advance in history has some sort of tipping point. So as society or culture or an idea in general reaches the masses, 
they inevitably reach a tipping point along the way where it's not overnight that these new ideas are adopted by society, but they actually reach a tipping point and something causes them to suddenly reach with the masses or the mainstream. And when you think about digital transformation, you're trying to introduce new ideas, new business processes, new roles and responsibilities, new technologies, a lot of new things within the organization. So you need to find that tipping point of adoption. How can we reach that tipping point where people actually move from resisting the changes to actually embracing those changes? And so the tipping point provides a lot of good best practices to help from a change perspective during digital transformation. The next one on my list is The Five Dysfunctions of a Team by Patrick Lencioni. And this is a great book, especially as you think about how to build a transformation team, how you're going to involve stakeholders throughout the organization. And it talks about how teams interact in general and how from more of a change management or a cultural perspective, organizations interact and can be most effective from a team perspective. So Five Dysfunctions of a Team is a great book as well. And finally, Competing for the Future by Gary Hamill. This is a great book that talks about, from an operations and a strategy perspective, how organizations can be more successful. And again, it gives a great framework that's relevant to any sort of transformation as you think about how can we improve our business and make our business better as a result of the transformation we're going through. So these are just 10 of the books that I found to be most relevant in my experience, but there's a lot of books I haven't read. There's a lot of books that I have intentionally not included in this top 10 list. And you may have other ideas as well of books that you've read that you thought are particularly relevant to transformations or maybe even business in general. So I'd love to hear in your comments below, what books have you read that you found to be most helpful in enabling a digital transformation or any sort of change initiative? And another resource that I'd point you to if you're looking for reading would be to go to our resource center on our website and download some of the content that we have. And I've included a link to that resource center. And on that resource center, you can download a number of eBooks and white papers and blogs and things of that nature that will help you through your digital transformation. Most notably, our digital transformation report, which is an annual report we put out each year. And it talks about best practices behind digital transformations and change in general, as well as independent software rankings, digital strategy, best practices, and things of that nature. So I encourage you to check that out as well. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.